Hello Gemini, welcome to another love reading. This one is going to be a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at your energies and your person's energies, how you feel about one another, what's going on uh, between you. And we're also going to look at where all of this is headed. So uh, we'll start with your connection as a whole. Keep in mind, these are general readings, so they will not resonate for every Gemini watching. If you find that this doesn't resonate for you at all, check out my playlist for Gemini. It'll be linked down below in the comments. But if this does resonate for you, uh, let me know, leave me a comment and let me know if it's resonating. I'd love to hear from you guys. All right, let's get into this. Spirits, angels, guides for Gemini in love what can you tell me about gemini and their person this reading is best for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have a person in mind spirit tell me about the connection between gemini and this other person what is going on in this connection spirit this one let your friends help you Okay. I'm going to take the bottom of the deck as well. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. All right. I'm going to also grab some oracles. Maybe one or two, depending on what we get. Spirit, give me some more insight into this connection between Gemini and this other person. Tell me more about this connection between Gemini and this other person. Can you tell me about this connection between Gemini and their person? Blossoming abundance, number three. Beautiful, I love that energy. It's at the bottom of the deck. Magician in the mirror. Okay, so I'm gonna take that too. I feel like these two are connected. Um, manif uh, Geminis are great at manifesting and the magician in the mirror is a card about manifesting so it looks like you're manifesting abundance um, I feel like with let your friends help you maybe um, you're either meeting someone through friends or you know this person through friends maybe you started off as friends maybe you're going through a difficult time and friends are helping you um, but I also have keep an open mind your soulmate may differ so maybe Whoever your person is or whatever is headed towards you in love, it might not be something that you are thinking of right now. Maybe what you're thinking about your person, um, maybe there's more to it than meets the eye. Maybe there's something you don't know. We'll see. But I'm getting almost like your friends or some sort of community or some person because here in this deck, there is three people here and there's two people talking to one person. So it's almost like getting advice, thinking of things differently, approaching a situation differently, you know, with some guidance from people you trust. Okay, so I'm gonna move these over so we can have some more room. I'm gonna put this card over here. Can you still see that? Yep. And then I'll put these two over here. So this is kind of what's going on in your connection right now. So let's jump into both of your energies separately here. And I have two decks. Um, so I'll be using one deck for you, Gemini, and one deck for your person. As always, you can flip these energies if they resonate more for you. This is the vice versa deck that I'm using here. Okay, so tell me more about Gemini's energies. And then I'll put some oracles for you as well, Gemini. Tell me about Gemini's energies and this connection, so Can you tell me for Gemini? Can you tell me for Gemini? This is a very unique deck because there's a picture on 
the front and the back so you can kind of get different messages. I'm going to flip this one like this. For Gemini. Tell me about Gemini. You can tell me about Gemini's energies. What is Gemini thinking or feeling when it comes to this person or this connection? Oh, well, we got the world reverse. What is Gemini thinking or feeling? What are the energies they're bringing to this connection? Is that the King of Cups? Yep, King of Cups reverse. Okay, I'm going to get some more clarity. I'll be clarifying these, but first I want to get a couple oracles for you as well. Tell me more about Gemini. Tell me more about Gemini. Need some clarity into Gemini's energies. So Gemini, right away with the world reverse, I'm getting a lack of closure. Something hasn't completely ended. Something hasn't begun. Kind of in limbo here. Wow, we got the tower. Well, the panther, which in this card is the tower, and then the earthworm at the bottom of the deck. This is about starting new, starting something new and, and having to learn again with the earthworm. Being a newbie at something. So it's like something here happened a tower moment. Something must have ended or really changed between you and this other person, Gemini. And it's almost like you would have to start over. Okay, let me get an oracle card for you. I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck here. You can get this deck uh, in my shop. It's linked down below. This is the physical version of my deck. I also have a digital version. It's also linked down below. It's more affordable. All right. Tell me more about Gemini. Spirit, tell me more about Gemini. You tell me about Gemini. You tell me about Gemini. Wedding bells. What is it with Gemini's and marriage? <laughs> marriage commitment union. Wedding bells are ringing. So either, you know, tell us all this time with Gemini's. I don't know what is going on, but lately, and by lately, I mean like months, <laughs> there has been someone that is already in a long-term commitment here that's involved with you or you're involved with them. Um, Either you're married or they're married or you're just thinking about marriage a lot right now. Bottom of the deck, I have budding romance. New love, romance, courtship, romance is in the air. But you have the tower, so there's something off here. Tell me more for Gemini. So let's clarify these. Why is the world reverse, Spirit? Why is the world reverse? Two of swords reverse. Why is the world reverse? Knight of cups. I don't know why I wanted to take it, that one from the top of the deck. I don't look at the deck while I shuffle. I just look at the cards to see what messages I get. Tell me about the world reverse. Knight of Swords reverse. So what I'm getting is there's something unsaid. Either you didn't get a chance to say something or they didn't. Have the Knight of Cups upright, the Knight of Swords reverse.
The Knight of Cups could be an apology. It could be somebody expressing how they feel here. But with the Knight of Swords reversed, it's almost like that message never came across or wasn't able to be delivered. Bottom of the deck, I have the three. Ooh, let me not let me not do that. <laughs> I have the three of swords. And at the top of the deck, I have the sun reverse. So yes, a lot of heartbreak happened here. Literally two cards about disappointment, heartbreak. But also the sun reverse, this could be something hidden. I want to get more information here. What's this choice about? It's like a choice that's happening here. And look at that, the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. It's like a, trying to decide whether to communicate here. Tell me about this Two of Swords reverse. King of Cups reverse and the world reverse. Whatever happened here where, you know, whatever tower moment happened in this connection, you were affected emotionally, Gemini, and I feel like you never really got closure. Maybe you, this is still kind of an ongoing cycle. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Queen of Wands reverse. The Moon reverse. Who is this Queen of Wands? King of Pentacles reverse. Some of you are dealing with someone that is already in a commitment. And that commitment is not doing very well. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Yeah, so this is someone apologizing here. I have the Five of Cups reverse with this Knight of Cups. So it's almost like regaining what they've lost, overcoming uh, past disappointment. Three of Cups. Yeah, this is about a reunion. And this is, again, this has been an ongoing message for Geminis. And if, you know, if I'm still getting these messages, you know, there's some of you out there that need to hear it. Tell me about the Queen of Wands, Reverse, Seven of Pentacles, Reverse. This is a bad investment where someone really um, jumped into the wrong thing here. Didn't really work. There's the Ten of Swords at the top of the deck, Reverse. And at the bottom of the deck, I have the Eight of Wands again. News coming in, communication coming in. Um, this decision here, this difficult decision, I'm not sure if this is you, Gemini. That's why I was clarifying. Um, whoever's making this decision, uh, they're making a decision that was a difficult decision because they invested in the wrong thing or with the wrong person. They put in effort, energy, and they invested time, all of this for nothing. It didn't lead anywhere solid. And I feel like someone wants to apologize for whatever happened here. So let's look at this um, King of Cups reverse. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I also have here um, the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So air energy, fire energy. Let's see. Tell me about this King of Cups reverse. Three of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles Reverse, Four of Pentacles Reverse. I feel like you've been waiting for this person. There could be someone in the way or in the middle of this because I have the Three of Pentacles Reverse, the Two of Pentacles. I'm you know picturing someone kind of juggling two different things, two different people um, and needing to let one of those go. Tell me about the King of Cups reverse. Maybe you're waiting to get, to hear from this person, to get closure from this person. Oh, that is a lot. Ten of, oh, not the ten. That's the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Yep. Wheel of Fortune reverse. It is a ten, but. And the Four of Pentacles reverse. You have not been able to let go of this person. Um, it's almost like time stopped in this connection. Something never officially wrapped up, never officially begun, something like that all i know is someone's thinking about having this be over whatever conflict is here 
they want to have that be over yeah and it's like they want it to be over so they can have a second chance here judgment you or this person or both of you so let's look at your person this is the cosmic slumber tarot spirit tell me about this person that gemini is dealing with Can you tell me about this person that Gemini is dealing with? Tell me about the person that Gemini is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? The Emperor reversed Aries energy. Strong Aries energy here. Bottom of the deck, I have the Page of Pentacles. This is someone breaking free of something, wanting to be, start over, start new, have, um, take a risk, a leap of faith into something new, into the unknown. Now with the Emperor Reverse, this could be somebody that is unable to regain control over situation, unable to um, stabilize a situation, someone that feels powerless. So let's get some cards about your person's energy here. Tell me about this person that Gemini is dealing with. Spirit, give me some insight into this person. Give me some insight into this person that Gemini is dealing with. Now remember, Gemini, you can flip these energies if they resonate for you. Yeah, the bear. This is all about a new beginning. Your person's focused on a new beginning. Which, again, it has been a common theme for Gemini's. I honestly feel like I'm sounding like a broken record, but there's a reason why I use so many different cards and oracles and <laughs> different decks is just to see what, what messages I get. Tell me about the person. Spirit that Gemini is dealing with. What can you tell me about this person's energies? What can you tell me about this person's energies, please? Oops, that one almost fell out. What can you tell me about this person's energies? I feel like my deck really wants to talk. Broken silence. Honesty, courage, expression. Open up, be vulnerable, and express your true feelings. So this person has something to say and they're breaking the silence to say it. Bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh, Gemini's don't kill me, please. <laughs> well, we have divine timing at the bottom of the deck. I know I can hear the groans. I completely understand <laughs> some of the comments that Gemini's leave me. They kill me. <laughs> um, yeah. So divine timing is at the bottom of the deck. I can't make this up. So, you know, it is what it is. Gemini's. Um, burden hard after that closed off some of you might not be um, in communication with this person because I have broken silence here so let's clarify some of these get some more insight here tell me about the fool tell me about the fool <laughs> ace of swords yeah this is a clear break completely new start here with the ace of swords look how pretty this card is this deck is so bright and colorful it makes me happy so this is someone that is complete it's like i just heard starting from zero so yeah clean break starting from zero those are the messages okay tell me more about the fool I, I'm hearing unburdening. So this is someone that's unburdening themselves, um, lightening the load. And I feel it's either through, um, it could be both, uh, cutting out whatever no longer serves them and opening up dialogue here with Ace of Swords. This is a very clear, honest, direct communication. Tell me more about the Fool. 
page of cups. Yeah. Someone's breaking the silence to express themselves. And I feel like doing that, it's like a breath of relief. Like a, it's just someone that can just breathe again. I have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. New opportunity. So tell me about the Emperor Reverse. Why is the Emperor Reverse? Why is the Emperor Reverse? Page of Swords. Another page. We have three cards here about really communication. Ace of Swords, Page of Cups, Page of Swords. Tell me more about the Emperor Reverse. No, oh, I got another one. Seven of Swords Reverse. Wow, the Ace of Cups. This is crazy. Interesting that I got the Seven of Swords Reverse. This is someone that it's like the spotlight as they're trying to sneak away or get away with something. The spotlight shines brightly on them and it's like they're caught with their hand in the cookie jar. Caught trying to run away or escape or... You know, maybe someone's being, their motives are being seen very clearly. Um, so what this is telling me is this person having some sort of new beginning, um, this person expressing themselves emotionally, um, seeking to unburden themselves. Um, I feel like someone's going to catch them in the act or this is something that they have to be sneaky about. <laughs> Just kind of weird. Tell me about the Seven of Swords Reverse. Why is the Seven of Swords Reverse? Why is the Seven of Swords Reverse? Gemini. Six of Pentacles Reverse. Why is the Seven of Swords Reverse? We have Judgment Reverse and Eight of Pentacles. Judgment reversed. Someone here made a bad judgment call in something here. And I find it funny that I have the Eight of Pentacles because you had the Eight of Pentacles that came out on your side too, but it was reversed. And judgment came up for your side, but it was also it was upright, which is the reverse of this. Four of Pentacles Reverse, another card that came up for you. So what I'm the reason I'm mentioning that, and there's the King of Pentacles Reverse, is that I feel like this is connected. The, you know, you had a different deck, and the same cards are coming out similar, or at least they're connected in some way. So this person, they made a bad judgment call, or they're dealing with um, a lesson, maybe a karmic lesson in their life. Um, there's something that's not balanced in their life. Maybe, um, maybe they're working on this with the eight of pentacles, but for some reason, what I'm picking up on here as well, I, is a weird message, but I don't feel this is related to you specifically. I think you kind of know about it or sense it, but I don't think this is between you. It could be. Maybe this person screwed up regarding your connection. Maybe they did something to you or something like that. Um, but that's not the first message that I'm getting. Let me get some secret moon oracles here. This is um, another one of my decks, also linked down below. Tell me what this person's thinking or feeling about Gemini. What do we need to know about this person's feelings? Or thoughts. What do we need to know, Spirit, about this person's feelings, thoughts? This person that Gemini is dealing with. I'm afraid. You know, this Emperor Reverse could also be a lack of courage or a uh, needing to restabilize or bring back balance in their life and not being able to 
Maybe fear has um, a part to play there. Tell me more about this person. I'm working on myself. Or there's that Eight of Pentacles right here. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, I have, I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. I feel like these are connected right here. And then I need more time after that. So I feel like these are connected over here. I'm working on myself and so they need more time for that. And then I'm af they're afraid to tell you how they feel. Bottom of the deck, you're always on my mind. Yes, I do. I do think this person thinks about you a lot. Because look at how emotional they are here. <laughs> look at this. Page of Cups, Ace of Cups. Oops, sorry, I dropped my... You know? And this person has something to tell you. They feel like this, this need or urge to break the silence. So let's see, where is this headed next? I'm going to pick a couple of cards here, and then we'll take this to the Extended, and I'll clarify further in the Extended. All right, Spirit, tell me, where is this headed? Where is this connection headed between Gemini and this person in the near future? Where is all of this headed? The full reverse. Interesting. Where is all of this headed? The sun. <laughs> Uh, clarity. Look at this. I immediately thought of this card. The bear card. There's like a sun on the top of that card. Where is all of this headed, Spirit? Oops. Between Gemini and this person. Eight of Cups. Yep. So what I'm getting here is some sort of delay, hesitation with the full reversed. And this sun, I feel, is very important. It's almost like the catalyst, like the, the thing that causes a shift here. Because once this sun comes out, someone walks away or moves on. All right, Gemini, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your likes, share, share, subscribes, and comments can't even talk. Um, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.